this state alone. I've always got my basket of babies with me. Unplanned, unintended, and inconvenient, society has devised such innocuous words to describe a child in their mother's womb. What they don't say is that every single time they use one of those words, there is a unique handcrafted soul. It was 1972 in New York where abortion had been legal since 1970. There, a 15-year-old girl fell in love with a teenage boy, withstanding pressure from school officials and others to do the right thing. They decided to give that child life. I am here tonight to tell you I was unplanned, I was unintended, and I was inconvenient. But two teenagers made a selfless, life-changing decision and my parents just celebrated their 39th anniversary. <laughs> Iowa's Planned Parenthood of the Heartland has a plan for those they label unplanned, unintended, and inconvenient. In 2008, they implemented their own First in the Nation scheme where young women can walk into any Planned Parenthood clinic across the state of Iowa and through the ninth week of her pregnancy, initiate a webcam abortion. Those no appointment walk-in abortions are happening throughout our state with no doctor present, consulting only by webcam from someplace else. Did you know that at nine weeks, with the heart beating already from 18 days, everything is in place in this little child, now about two inches long. The baby just needs time to grow. An RU486 webcam abortion is a set of chemicals designed to starve the child. The second set of pills, taken alone, expels the dead baby days later. And if that wasn't frightening enough, Planned Parenthood of the Heartland does not follow FDA protocol. RU486 abortions are more traumatizing for women. Our women are left to deal with their dead baby alone. We know all this from Susan Thayer, a former Planned Parenthood manager from Storm Lake, Iowa, who bravely called us in 2008 to tell us about this. In recent weeks, we have learned that our precious, distraught women, not knowing what to do, one devastated woman is keeping her baby's corpse in her freezer. And another tossed hers into a local sewer. Planned Parenthood of the Heartland, with now close to 30 clinics littering our state, has recently swallowed up Nebraska, Arkansas, and Eastern Oklahoma. Make no mistake, they intend to unleash webcam abortions across every corner of our country. The largest expansion of abortion since Roe v. Wade. And if that weren't enough, we know that the medical director for Planned Parenthood of the Heartland, Jill Meadows, dismembers our Iowa babies alive. This was her testimony before the Supreme Court. And she trains our university medical students in Iowa City. Abortion through all nine months here in the state of Iowa is a very big business. Planned Parenthood is not an organization to be trusted with our daughters, our granddaughters, our sisters, and friends. They don't even care enough about our women to have a doctor present. Every single life, born and unborn, is a gift. A gift that should be celebrated and welcomed into this world. And every single born woman deserves better than abortion.